Welcome to another after school special by the TIPS team. I'm Will Rice and today we'll be looking at how to properly begin a meet using the Google Classroom banner link and how to end a meet to ensure that this link expires and is reset for the next block of instructional time you may want to use it for. It is important to note that the first staff member who clicks on the meet link in the banner of a specific classroom becomes the host of that meet. This meet hosting is non-transferable and will remain with the first person to click this link for a unique session. Clicking the link as a staff member will take you to the join screen, showing you the same nickname link that is shown in the banner, and can be begun, begun by clicking join now. Once the session has begun, we can notice that a unique 10-digit code is at the top. This is the unique session that was created by using that link. At this point, students will now be able to join the session. At this point, this unique session can be used to do instruction as normal. You will know that you are the host if you have the blue shield in the bottom left corner giving you access to host controls. If you do not have this, it means that this link was used to begin this specific unique session by another staff member. You can check this by clicking in the roster in the top right and noting if another staff member is present. Remember, individual staff members can be in a meet on multiple devices or on the same device multiple times. Leaving the meet on one device does not close the meet for all other areas where you are logged in. In this case, you can see that I am logged in twice to this meet on different devices. When the time comes to end the meet properly to ensure that it will reset to create a new unique session the next time you use it, you will have to ensure that all users in the meet, including multiple logins by yourself, have all left the meet correctly. This can be easily accomplished by asking the students to leave the meet, leaving the meet yourself if you've logged in multiple times, or using the three dots to remove a user from the meeting. Note that removing a user from the meeting using this tool, other than the original host, will not allow them to rejoin the meet, even if they would like to, they would have to be specifically invited. They will be able to join other unique meets joined by the link, just not this specific unique session. Once all users have left, you will need to hang up and end the meet. The meet will have to remain empty of all users for approximately 60 seconds to correctly complete its closure. If students are re-entering the meet within the 60 second window, they may be able to keep it alive. One thing you can do to prevent this if you are having issues is to turn off quick access, preventing users from rejoining the meet without you clicking admit when they ask to join, and then closing the meeting. Close the screen, and in approximately 60 seconds, the classroom link will be ready to create another unique meet session with a unique 10 character code. Hopefully this video has supported you in getting prepared to use the classroom banner link to correctly begin and end meets. And if you have other questions or need further support, please visit tipstudypsp.ca or find tips on connect for additional resources.